Baruch Hashem, we have the Chodesh Adar Aleph. We have two months of Adar, two Chodeshim of Simcha. We are just coming from the Chodesh that's representative of sprouting of the trees. And we know that that is symbolic of man, our sprouting, right? Our growth, our potential state is now being put into actuality from here on through the continuation of the year, we're leading into the month of redemption, the month of redemption, Nisan. It's the last month of the year, usually, Adar. And here we have two months of Adar. I'll tell you a very quick vart, and then we'll start. If everybody wants to get supplies, um, I did post that you should try to get uh, a paintbrush, um, a paper, it's a, a thicker paper, it's better. If you don't have a brush, you can bring a sponge and uh, strong coffee, um, black tea, or, and turmeric. So those are the art supplies for today. You're welcome to also have your colored pencils and anything else that you want to use. Um, maybe even cotton if you don't have a sponge, something to like dab, I guess, the, to make the color. And you'll get instructions very soon. Also a scissor and tape near you as an extra step. step. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you a quick part just about Adar. The, fa the fact that we have an extra Adar is tremendous because it says the, the sign for Adar is the Gim. The Gim are synonymous fish of, of abundance, of a lot. They don't come one at a time, right? They come in a, what do you call it? A pool of fish? Is that how it's called? It's like a pool of birds. I don't know how it's called. Am I saying it correctly? A bunch of fish together. You'll tell me in the chat. Um, so basically, we see that it's tremendous, like there are many of them. And where are they? They live under the water where we can't see them. That's also synonymous that they, the Ayin Hara is not sholetet on them. It's not ruling over them, just like us, the Jews, right? That we shouldn't have Ayin Hara on us. And they live in water, water synonymous of Torah, right? Torah and mitzvah. And another thing we're told, that really there's no mazal for Israel. They Israel are not ruled by mazal. But we know this concept that there is this mazal that exists to for us to tap into the sparks of that mazal, of that fortune for that month. Because everything, every single month has a tremendous koch. What does it say about Adam? It says, When Adam comes in, we have tremendous amount of simcha. So usually we have Purim, we do Megillah, we... We wish Manot, we go to shul, right? Together with Gila, we, we do things together, Suda, we dress up. What are we supposed to do in Adar Aleph? How are we supposed to be the Simcha? It's kind of funny. It's like, okay, let's get into the Simcha mode, and we don't have Simcha. Really, we don't have anything to make us more be Simcha, specifically now in this very challenging time. So one of the beautiful things that I learned from Rav Pinson, Rav Dov Bear Pinson, he has a book on every month of the year, uh, but I actually listened to a share by him also on this, is that we don't have mazad that we're ruled by, but we can create our own mazad. We are in already in a state of simcha. A Jew is always besimcha. And this month we have to increase marbim besimcha. That means it's up to us in the same way that Hashem allowed us to set the calendar in a certain way, right? That we have a leap year, for example, every few years so that the solar and the lunar um, calendar are in sync, right? So that's why we add an extra year. Shana Meuberet, a pregnant year, it's called a leap year. And which month do we add? We add the month of Adal, the month that comes right before the month of Geula. So we see that Hashem is giving us a special opportunity that we are able to bless the month, right? The, the Chachamim taught us how the month should, should be and how everything should be in terms of the Luach, the calendar. And so the potential of the simcha is within us. And this is us tapping into the, the mekor chaim, the one that gave us life, to be able to be in gratitude. Gratitude brings simcha. And if we realize who is our Hashem and that we have an Hashem and that Hashem helps us and Hashem protects us and our soldiers, Bezalat Hashem, and Hashem is kol yechol en od When we tap into that, it should make us even more of a simcha. And then we're able, we don't need Purim. We can make Purim ourselves. We could make it simcha. We could put on the music and start dancing to be in that state of mind and that consciousness of, wow, Hashem so does so much to me. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. 
This is bitachem b'Hashem. This is a concept of trusting in Hashem and seeing that everything He does is for the good. That helps us to increase our simcha and to tap into the Ein Sof, the one that's infinite, because that's the koach of Am Yisrael. Am Yisrael chai, no matter what we've been through, any persecution, we have that ability to tap into our koach of emuna and bitachon. And if we tap into that koach, that should help us to rejoice, to sing, to dance. Wow, I have life. Am Yisrael is alive no matter what. Look at the soldiers. They're not going into war with the morale of, oh my goodness, look what's happening to us, or in fear or anxiety. They're in a state of simcha because they're in a state of emuna, And they're tapping into that connection of us being an Am Segula. We just read about it in Matan Torah, this part, which Parsha, Parsha Ditro. We're Hashem's treasure nation. We're Hashem's holy nation. And when we tap into Simcha, there's nothing that can be stronger than that because Simcha poretz gedel, happiness breaks barriers. And that's what we're able to do. We, we hear only in the news the tragedies. Do you know how many seem are happening every single day? Grenades being thrown out, being blown up. This person got attacked, but Baruch Hashem, it was minor injury. That thing happened, this thing blew up, and they weren't even near it. We can, If we ask every chayah, I'm sure he can recount at least 50 miracles that are happening daily. So we're going to say here, thank you, Hashem. Thank you for the miracles. And please help us to go from shvat, of actualizing our potential to being besimcha and in gratitude in this next month. And now I'm going to turn it over to Gabriella. We'll talk more about Adar as Adar comes in. We're going to have a musical halal here, Bezrat Hashem, on Friday morning. I know it's early for you guys over there. And uh, maybe I'll share the video. Bezrat Hashem, may this month bring us a chodesh. It should be a chodesh tov. It should bring us yeshuot, nechamot, sarot tovot. And Rizrat Hashem, the building of Beit HaMikdash and the Geula, the Merabi Amin. Gabriella Broom is going to share with us now a special art piece that relates to this, the connection of Shvat to um, Adal. Thank you, Gabriella, for offering your service. This beautiful painting behind you. Thank you. Um, hi, everyone. So, excited to do some art with you. And uh, does everyone have like their pencils or supplies next to them? Okay. Hopefully that's a yes. So I guess just let's take see it you guys out. turn on your camera so we could see everyone. It's much better oh. if we could see everyone. Go ahead. Okay. You want to turn it on? And oh yeah, it's actually really cool to see people. It's intimidating. So I'm going to start with a pencil, actually, even though I gave you like all these instructions for getting like turmeric and black coffee to try out. And we're going to start trying to make a line, like to do um, just a line. Before you, you tell them instructions, can you give us a little bit of an overview of what you're going to be doing? So we, they have an, an idea of what we're what we're doing today with the art and how yeah. it relates to the month. I do want to be like surprising you as we go along, though. But would it be helpful to give an overview? Maybe just in general, like we're going to be, what are we going to be doing just in terms of just in general? You don't have to, if you don't want to say the whole concept, you'll tell us after. Um, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to just try it without telling you. And then next time I'll tell you guys what we do. Sorry. Um, okay, so pretty much we're gonna um, like oh one sec. So it just it's just more fun when you when you're surprised by what you make. So we're gonna just make a line like this. And like that. So don't make any line yet. I want you to um imagine that your hand has like a lot of joy in it. So we're gonna be making a line that represents Marvin Basimcha, like increasing in joy. So you're gonna um just feel this like intense joy, and as you make the line across your page, let the joy kind of grow more and more. 
What what are you grateful for? What are you happy about? And try to just put it in that line. So it could swirl, the line could dance. It could be a squiggles. Meaning it doesn't have to be a straight line. Any type no, of line. Straight line. Like more about having a line that represents simcha. Okay. So I just like made a line for myself, like increasing and enjoy it. Um, and then when you're done with this line, I would love for you to make another line, um, but if you can, to us, the R supplies next to them. If you can make it, um, like over here, so you're making two lines, like two thirds of the paper. Let's take my view off here. Gabby, we lost you. Okay. So, I want you now. So now we're gonna um we're gonna have like three sections of the paper and in each section we're gonna draw different things. So the first, the upper section is gonna be kind of like drawing this idea of malchut. Um, this middle section is gonna be drawing something about like roots and growth. And the third is gonna be drawing something about um, like adar and gratitude. And we'll, we'll, we can draw fish. So maybe let's start with, um, Malchut, because it's going to order. And Malchut, you mean royalty, right? Yeah, like your connection to God, um, royalty, your highest self. And if you can, do it with um, just like br your brush and water. That would, and um, like the coffee that you have, that could be good, but. Like maybe it's an action you're drawing, like how helping someone around you is um, your mahu. Or something that represents your higher self. Anything that would represent that. Yeah. Thank you. And that's going to be on the top line. Yeah. Is the, are the lines going across like you showed us or are we turning the page the other way? Oh, the line. Sections. We have three the sections. Line, yeah, as you show, as I showed you. <coughs> but if you, you want us? to turn the other way, you can. There's actually. You're, um, so you're dividing the the line really in three. Are you drawing a line in between? Yeah. So maybe um, like here, the top mm -hmm. line, the middle line. But if you want to draw it this way, you also can draw it vertically. Okay. So we're keeping it straight. We'll do it the same way as you are. They're so where are we drawing? Where are we putting the drawing on the top, on top of the top line? Yeah, can't hear you. You're muted, Gabby. Yeah, whichever one you want. You can start with the top to go in order. Can you show us again what you're paying, what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Mine is just um. So I drew a line, and now I'm kind of drawing. Like I do an action, like someone giving another person like food or something, to represent like your highest self. Um, and then maybe there's some feelings of my 
my mouth weight. So this is just one way of approaching it. You could also write words or write hearts. What is the bottom line? Could you say it the, again? What the bottom one? We'll get to it, but it's going to be... I'm actually just going to have you draw some fish for Adar because I said about fish. Um, oh, I thought you said the bottom line you were supposed to draw first. Oh, no. No. Okay. It's it's okay. There's no right or wrong here. It's, it's art. And when you're saying fruits, are we drawing something that's representative of fruit? Or literally drawing fruits? Again, I'm opening the prompt. So um for the for the second one? Yeah. Um uh I don't wanna I don't want to So what so what's the back. second one in general it's Shvat? Just generally? Yeah, the second one is gonna be the second one I'm gonna have you more experiment with the um the natural material. And you no, I don't mean the second line. It's so the division of the page. You said Malchus, then you said Shvat and Fruit, and then you said Adar Gratitude. Yeah. So, so we're drawing what, Shvat and Fruits. We're drawing anything that relates to that in our mind? Yeah. Like, okay. specifically for that one, I'll have you draw, like, growth with, with tree roots, like, seeds, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you can also write like a positive affirmation, like I am a queen, if you want to add to the mahu. Okay, you want to give us a third instruction? Yeah, so now let's go to um, the Shvat. And for Shvat, because it's inspired by new growth in the earth, we're going to use some um, natural material. So I have in this bowl, I put some turmeric and some water and I'm just gonna like um, kind of experiment with playing around with what I could do with it. So like make some cheers. This one is more like, you know, art therapy, like ex feeling expression. And I also have some coffee, so. I may like you for coffee and just do what I do with it. Yeah. Like that. The coffee is nice because you smell the coffee as you're painting it and it keeps you awake. <laughs> and as you're drawing, you can think about like areas of growth in your life. So either what you have already grown, like accomplishing and like being proud of yourself for your accomplishments or where you want to grow. I like to draw roots, so I'll just keep drawing them. And then if you guys are ready for the, the last one, we're going to do the bottom. And I think it's fun to just start drawing some fish like as decorations. So 
maybe. And then they can use any material. Like if you have extra material now, you could use like color pencils or watercolor, but I just will keep using this coffee mixture. Could we also maybe include things that we're grateful for or like anything related to a dark? Yeah, yeah that would be cool like if you want to do like a fish and then in between the fish right like um what you're grateful for like connection it's hard to see but then another fish or you can even just do a fish eye yeah And don't feel bad if you're not done with your um super spot your spot one yet. Sorry about this random music in the background. Gabby, could you move out a little bit so we can see the whole thing? Oh, um, what, what I'm doing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, can I show you guys at the very end? Sure, sure. Because I, I have one that I started before, and then um, I split a new one now, so it's two at once. And then, um, Karen, if you want to tell me when it's a good time, yeah. like the last step. Sorry, sorry. Um, is everyone probably like super immersed in the fun of turmeric paint? Um, but if anyone is ready to to look at them or share them, let me know. Yeah, yeah when you're, when you're ready to share them, just like put them to the screen. I'm not done with mine, but I'll just share the process. Yeah. One second. This Everyone all, can see. Or it's all their pictures at once to the screen if you can, whoever is ready. Okay, okay, I'm spotlighting you and then I'm gonna spotlight Lisa. One second. Mine is a little bit in process. So. Oh I love I love Lisa, I love your face. Nice. Let me see. Anybody else is sharing? I don't see anybody else sharing. Anybody else want to share? Show us what you did. Okay, so the last step is to cut cut the three areas out if you can if you have a scissor next to you um to just like you know 
cut them. So I, I already cut like one of them and we're gonna just tape them all together. So yeah, if you could just cut it out, that'd be great. Like along this road line. Sorry, it's a bit rushed. Oh, I'll come up. So nice. Oh, I love the eyes that you have at the bottom. And like the tree has such a like, fragile quality to it. And the leaves are falling off. It's really nice. Who is yeah, this? Sharon. Pamela? Pamela? It's Hi Malka. I want Pamela, to... you're sharing? Oh, one second. Okay. Okay, one second. It's hard to see. I'm going to just take off the other pen. One second. Okay, show it again, Pamela. Okay. Oh, I like the big fish and the eyes at the bottom. What was that symbolic of? It was like eating the eye off. Eating the yeah. eyes? Oh yeah, what is it symbolic of? I, I it's different eyes with fish um underwater. Like some eyes don't have some eyes are freestyle with no fish and some <laughs> some eyes are in a fish. And uh, what's the eye represent? Some of it has personal significance. Um, um, to to avoid eye and hara. I was thinking that <laughs> to, see, to see to see the good, to focus on good. I like um, that. And and then and then this this one is. A little drawing of a maple tree that I had planted for my dad in the front yard here. It's like a little sapling. I I planted it a few years ago in the month of Adar. And oh wow! My mm -hmm. dad, but it, I mean, it's so in the winter. It's just like a little brown stem with reddish branches and roots, and then and then the top is. A kater with underneath, it's hard to see, like a little pushka with coins, gold coins for tzedakah. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote my dad's name, Naftali, which it was explained means connection, Naftali connection, which was my father's name. And then, and then I, for me personally, I, I, my father, he was a bald tzedek. He was a very, for me, a great man. And I derive whatever malchut I have is from, you know, I put, I wrote my father's daughter um, in, in his honor. That's beautiful. Hard to see. Thank you. Ms. Keter. I'm sure he's Thank you. From you. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Anybody else want to share? <laughs> Was anybody else finished that wants to share? Hi, sorry, you wanted to share? Hi, Malka, sorry. Did you want to share? I'm not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> um, do the next step is to Go cut out different layers. What is it? The next step? Can you say it louder? So I want you to cut along the line that you drew. So you're going to have three distinct strips of, of the thing. Yeah, and then you're gonna tape them together, and then we're gonna make a crown with the with the thing that you taped for Adar. So, yeah, of like these different levels. So we're gonna wear our crown, our keter that we started with, yeah. and the representation of Shabbat and Adar with our keter, right? Yes, perfect. Beautiful. And when it's cut already, you can kind of still keep working on it.
I'm going to play some uh, background music. Anything else you want to share with us about the connection and how you connect Shvat to Adar? First, I share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think like Adar is this completion of the joy that begins with, um, like, I just keep thinking of Tuba Shvat, like the first, the first sapling and like how, like once the tree begins to grow, there's just so much joy in the process of the growing. Um, Shvat, Shvat's the tenth month, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I think Shvat's particularly known as a hard month because we really have to like fix a lot, fix a lot of tikkunim. Like it's about like the tikkun, tikkun of eating. Um, and then. Like Adar, it comes, it's like, okay, we fix everything. Like now we could just, you know, enjoy the world in a way. And there's like the whole thing of like the Purim, like the Mishta we need to have. And um, like the act of giving is really important in um, like Mishroch Mano, like how it's kind of a mitzvah to just give gifts to your friends. So it's kind of like in Shvat, like the land is giving us. And it's like, okay, now we have to, like, to learn lessons in the land and, like, also give ourselves. To learn a lesson what? Anyway. From, from the, like, the tree's new growth, like, how the tree, how we appreciate all the, the growth of the crew and the, the day and the different um, trees' growth. And then, like, learn how they give to us. We need to also give to others what they give to us. Mm, beautiful. I know, and also also have connections. So, like, as Adar actually comes, I'll begin to see more transition. Huh? I didn't hear. Like, Adar comes from what? Like, once Adar actually comes, you know, Adar will feel more. Feel more connected to it, you're saying? Yeah. I think I'll begin to. Now we're still in Shvat. It's just interesting. Wait, which which sign is Shabbat, by the way? I mean, sorry, I know Shabbat is like the Aquarius, the water bear, but which one is Adar? Adar is the game. Oh, right. That's what I was saying before. Shabbat is the, is the leaf, like a bucket, because always we fill up our bucket, right? It's like a bucket, yeah. Shafa. It's a month of uh, sprouting, growth. A beautiful song, Eva Eva, the Mavara Fafa. What's that? Tell us what your representation of your crown is, please. Um. Well, uh, first of all, I absolutely adore Gabby. She like brings out my wild side, <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm not sure what it represents, but it's wild and free. My crown. It's like a creative princess crown. 
there's even a fish swimming into the highest malchut because I got I cut it into there, and that made me laugh a lot. What was that? Like the 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 fish is swimming into the crown, and that just made me feel a lot of laughter and joy. How like the crown can be just like a wild, crazy design abstract and sometimes my malchut just feels wild and free and like it's not like a stiff queen it's like a prancing queen <laughs> love it love it wow it presents geula freedom is geula free expression yeah. it's like a purple rain crown beautiful Okay, Gabby, are we done? Is there anything else you want to share? For everyone to see the hug where their crowns are now. Um, and then, yeah. You want to see everyone's crowns? Everyone share your crowns. They're still in the midst of it, it looks like. Okay. Well, um, Anybody want to share meanwhile? Because we have to get off just soon because I have another meeting. Yeah, you guys have your crowns, you can just... Oh, let's take a look at Gabby's. Everyone see Gabby's? I've finished taking Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Yeah. You even have gold for royalty. Yeah. From your coffee. <laughs> have to... What's on top? What's on top? Is that the tree? Honestly, I I think I like what Lisa did, like layering it. I'm saying the different because it's a bit too long for the head. This is also like a neck. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I just put the, the one that I could see it through on. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, and you guys can just, like, you know, play around with how it would adjust, how you want it, what you want to show to the world as you wear it. And... Well, I'll share with you a few more things about Adar. Adar also comes from Lashon Adil. Adil means strong. Adir Bamaram Hashem, that Hashem has strength. And so uh, we see that this month has tremendous strength for Am Yisrael because there were major Yeshuot that happened for Am Yisrael. So it's representative of the strength, the strength of Hashem and the strength that Hashem gives us as his nation and the miracles that occurred for us at a time of his stale panim when it seemed like Hashem wasn't even there. Adar is also Aleph Dar, Hashem dwells. That here Hashem is dwelling amongst us in this month, in the month of Simcha, in the month that represents tremendous, tremendous gratitude and, and Simcha, joy. And the, the facet, the faculty that relates to this month is laughter, tzchok. And we know we say a pasuk in a shira malos that we say on Shabbos. As the malos pinu, then our mouth will be filled with laughter. It's spelled with a sin, but it's okay. It's the same word. And what is this? As as is aleph zayin, which equals eight together. One and seven equals eight. So malam teba. That then in the next world, when it doesn't, we don't understand anything here in this world. But in the next world, we'll be able to look back. We'll be able to see the good. We'll be able to see the chesed of Hashem. And we'll be able to laugh, to laugh at what happened. We, we thought it was bad, turned out to good, but not fochu, just like it happened in the Megina, that Ultimately, the Jews were supposed to be exterminated in the end. They were glorious. They were victorious. They were being able to win over the war and the enemies and bring Klai to a state of peace and simcha and achdut and unity and reacceptance of the Torah. And so this month has a tremendous koach to bring us to tzchok. And tzchok is something that, you know, when you see something, it's like ironic, like slipping in a banana peel, right? Or falling off a chair. Why do we laugh? It's not funny. Somebody just hurt themselves. But it was the irony of the matter that we laughed because it didn't seem like that was going to, that was about to happen. It was just like a surprise. Like where that came from, you know? So we end up laughing. And this holy kind of laughter and there's unholy laughter, right? And the holy laughter is the laughter like Sarah and Yitzchak, that they laughed when they saw, and they when they heard that they were going to have a child. 
an astonishment. It was like, wow, that's the unexpected. We didn't expect that. The age of 90, and I'm from the age of 100, right? And they even called him Yitzchak. He shall laugh because it was something that people were surprised. You know, how could it be at such an old age? They brought a tremendous amount of laughter. And unholy laughter would be laughing as like mocking, laughing because you want to rule or control like the, the different, uh, you know, governments throughout history that were, they were basically, uh, what's the word? Cynical. It's a cynical type of laughter, of mocking, of looking down, of trying to be in control. And that kind of laughter ultimately is not going to last because it's not a good laughter. It's a laughter that depresses us. Like right now, the person is laughing and making fun. But if a person's not in a state of shlevas, of completeness, and of simcha, in the end, they're going to get depressed. It's not a good laughter. The laughter that we mean is the laughter that brings us simcha. And the laughter that brings us to a higher level of understanding the ways of Hashem. It's not something that's so clear to us, but we laugh because we know that it's ultimately for our good. Right? It's not out of mocking. It's not out of negativity. It's out of a positive state of mind. And so ultimately we'll be able to laugh, to look back at all that happened to us in this world when we go into the next world, when we go into the state of true simcha, like when Moshe crossed the sea, it says Az Yashir. And the, the, the letter Kuf is a little bit different than the letter He, the fact that it has a longer line. And this connects to Shvat because the Kuf is grounded. The Kuf is settled in the ground, so to speak. The Kuf teaches us that when we're grounded, when we're connected to something that's ultimately an infinite, right? Infinite uh, infinity, which is Hashem, the, the, in the light of or and self, that anything is possible, that Nisim happens to the Jewish people as opposed to tragedy. And we connect to that, it grounds us and it brings us to a higher level, a higher level of consciousness, to be able to be connected to Kadesh Baruch, and that also brings us joy. And the letter Kuf is a little longer than the letter He. He is like Havel, and Kuf is like Kain, right? Havel is into Havel, Havel Avalim, right? Kain wanted to be more grounded. He wanted to sort of be in control also, right? But he killed Havel. But the, the ability to be more grounded, the ability to be more, to have stability, right, is our connection. We see like a tree. A tree has roots in the ground. And the branches reach upwards. They reach up to the heavens to be connected not only to the physicality of this world, but we know that we need the spirituality of the upper world. It's not, it can't be on its own. We need both. And that connects to Shvat, where we are learning the, the beauty of the tree and the benefit we gain from the trees, besides oxygen and carbon dioxide, right? The things that, that, that they give off to be able to give us the ability to live, the fruits. The blossoms, the fruit, uh, flowers, right? Hashem wants us to enjoy from the fruits, you know, the food that we get from different fruits. So, uh, and this ability of a tree is only because he's grounded, only because he's here in this world. And, and it used to be that the tree actually tasted like the fruit. But because Adam sinned, so now we have a tikkun to make for the tree. That the tree does not have that taste of the actual fruit. We have to go and pick it, we have to go work up for hard for it, right? But the, the branches, you always see the trees, the branches are reaching up, up, up. They want, want to be connected to the ruchnit. And the hay, the heaven is cut off because it's just a small little line that the hay has. And that's connected to futility. That if we don't, if we don't have this connection between the physical and the spiritual, then what's our life for? What are we here for? Um, and also, kuf is also like the word kof. Kof is a monkey. Monkey does something and it's humorous. It's like he imitates man. How could it be that this animal is imitating man? Right? And that teaches us the concept of the tzchok. The tzchok that, you know, that's a good kind of tzchok that's, you know, that we're supposed to laugh at, at from a good place of, you know, of being surprised, of being happy that this unexpected thing happened to me. And there are so many things in our life that we could be happy about, be grateful about. That's really what this month is all about. And I think that Shvat leading into, I'm thinking of it now, Gabby, as I'm saying it, that what's the connection of Shvat leading into Adal is this ability to have our potential actualized. 
and bring us to have gratitude about it. Right? When we see a tree, we see how it starts from a little seed that's rotting in the ground, that's in the choshek, in the darkness, that we don't see a light, where we don't see the good. Right? We're in the darkness here in Galut. We don't see the ultimate plan of Hashem. But we believe by watering the plant, by giving it sunshine and water, and it, and it gets its nutrients from the ground to sustain it. And then this little seed grows up into a plant, grows up into a tree. That's Emuna. And that brings us to Simcha. When we have Emuna, it's Simcha. We're happy. We're rejoicing that we're being able to be connected to Kaddish Baruch Hu, that our, our branches will rise up and up and up, right? And, and there's new life. There's new life in the midst of the darkness. The blossoms that come out is the sign of the new life. And that's us. We, we have new life because we, we waited. We waited patiently. We planted. We sowed. We watered. And now Hashem is going to say, Let us, let's give you the taste of what you, you've made. And that's Nisan. Nisan is the month of Geula. That when we're able to eat from the fruit of this tree that we worked so hard to plant and to nurture and to believe that it's actually going to grow. And of course, the Daven, the Daven to Hashem. And so then we go into from Adar, the time of Simcha, to Nisan of Adar, the time of Geula. But this year, this year we have two months of Simcha, which is contradictory to what's going on all around us. How you want us to be the Simcha? We're in a state of Tzal, we're in a state of pain. Because that's really the Muna. Because we know right now we're in Tzal, but Hashem is taking us out very, very soon. And we're going to multiply, right? That's what happens to the Jews. It says it in the Haggadah. We're going to multiply like the fish. We're going to we're going to be protected by the Torah and by the mitzvot. We'll be able to renew ourselves. We'll be able to be go at ourselves, so to speak. We have to redeem ourselves from the things that weigh us down to be able to come to Geula, to true Geula, to the true revelation of the good, to see the Malchut Hashem that will be revealed in the world when everyone will understand, oh, that's what happened? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to learn from it? It'll be clear for everyone, Bezlat Hashem. So we're going to add, and if anybody wants to share the beautiful piece of art, even though you didn't finish, this is your chance. Show us what you've done. Come on. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Don't be shy. Okay, Chaya Sarah is holding it up. Let's pin Chaya Sarah. Unpin me so you could see her. Grow into your crown. I love it. And she made a crown at the end of it, right? How'd you do that? That is so cool. And there's the ocean at the bottom and the yellow well, in the middle. That's Tell so us. beautiful. Thank she you. I can't hear you. Unmute yourself. Tell us what your thoughts were. I muted you before because it was background noise. Hi. Um, so share it again. I came a little late, so well, the, I wanted to you know, make sky because whatever. I just love the sky, but um, I don't want to make a crown. <laughs> I just want to. You did make a crown back. at the end of the word <laughs> yeah, crown. I made, a crown. I made a crown, a little crown over a year. I didn't get to make it look so pretty, but yet. But um, and there are little. How do you fish. throw into your crown? Good question. I, I believe your crown, like I was thinking about Malchus, what is Malchus? I believe like Tzelem Elohim and all the Midos of Zarif, Garachal, and Leahu that we have, and also the Avos, can't forget them, Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, that we have all their amazing DNA inside of us. And there's certain things, I think with the mitzvahs, when we do the mitzvahs, we unlock the potential, you know. But um, and I, I don't know. I guess I was going to. What's the middle? That's beautiful. The middle, I didn't really work on too much. Only that it was just the background for the some maybe some roots, and um, um, you know the. Is the reason for the yellow? Uh, the yellow is the turmeric. <laughs> no, saying was a reason that he chose the yellow for the middle part. Humoric, I don't know, and all the situations that we have, like you say, you know, did you say humoric? Humoric, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
Uh, I don't know. I, I could be funny, you know. In my in my early years, when I was growing up, I was vet when I was when I was first married married and had to start having children I was very serious it was like I took it you know I was like a batshuva and I, I took it so 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 seriously you know and it's not whatever I was just I, I couldn't I, di I didn't laugh too much I had a friend who used you know you know was like come on let's go out let's you know tickle your kids they love it da, 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 da. anyway <laughs> um so, and I, I remember actually one time me and my sister, we went to visit my parents and we just had such a good time. We had such a good time that somebody fell off their chair. We were just, you know, laughing. And then on the way home, I'm like, how come when I, only when I go to visit my parents, I'm like, could be so funny or I don't know, just, you know, let go. The child in I'm, you comes and, out. And when I'm Isra in Israel, I'm like so serious. And everything is like has to shalom, you know. I um, did something <laughs> wrong, and you know, do tshuva and that. Yeah. I don't know, just so it was intense. So anyway, um, growing into the crown, I think it, maybe I, I stole that from uh, uh, Tamar Tebek's uh, ne Nexus. Yeah. You know, yeah. oh, she says rise into your crown. So grow, grow into crown, right? Like it's so we all have them. Like we, have we us grow, them. grow it through with we gratitude. Fr Friday night, you know, um, when the husbands come home or whatever, they, you know, Hashem puts a crown on our head, mm -hmm. and, and you know, nasei benishma. So, um, yeah, grow is amazing. I I love the farmers grow. That's what grow. You said grow into your crown. So I'm thinking of grow through gratitude, recognition, gratitude, oneness, recognition. and wishes. Oneness Beautiful. And wishes. Thank yeah, you so wishes much. And wishes huh? and wants. Okay. Wishes, wishes and, and wants. wants. She said something today about wants that it was like really, I don't know, really nice. Like, uh, and I don't know, there's, I want to have light, a lot of light in here because we're all um, filled with a lot of light. And, Amen. I have to end. So thank you so, so much. Let's get another thank share. Naomi Batia. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Hi, Malka. Okay. I actually only found out about this like two minutes before I came. So <laughs> just, um, I just kind of was doodling in my, in my planner. So I just, whatever. <laughs> wow. That's doodling. I wonder what you do when you're drawing. Hello. That's art. Beautiful. Wait, wait. Leave it on the screen. Leave it on the screen. It's slow. I want to see it. Move back a drop. Move back a drop. Yudke Vavke. That's her crown. That's gorgeous. And then we see the tree in the middle with the word Shvat and a dar at the bottom. And then there are leaves coming out of the shin. Wow. Wow. This is stunning. And the bottom. A good doodle. <laughs> Very good doodle. The bottom is and just like fish. cute little fish. <laughs> Any Kavanas here? Um. Just you know, um, nothing, nothing. It's just really doodling. <laughs> Beautiful. I also doodled. I don't want to show mine though. <laughs> <laughs> but I basically put a heart on top. I did uh, a heart as giving, uh, chesed, and I wrote on top an ibat melech, um, and uh, drew a crown also. And then my middle is a very fruitful tree with emuna coming out of it. Um, <laughs> that's what really connects us. And the bottom in the fish, first I wrote, I, I made a, a, a fish. I'll show it to you. A fish. And then in the fish, I'm sorry, a sun that's shining light. I have to take off my background. Shining light into the ocean. I don't know why, but. I wrote down the bottom good energy. When she was talking, she said good energy. I said, oh, good energy. I have good energy, Nadar. Um, mm -hmm. And the fish have different words in them. So one of them says Hatzlacha. One of them says Bracha, Shefa. And then there's Simcha with all of them being together. Can you see it? I have to pin myself. Wait, I'm sorry. One second. Okay. 
Can you see? It's very light. Very light. Nice. Pencil. I did a pencil. I don't have my daughter took her color, so I need to find. Oh yeah. Stuff. Very nice. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sketch. It's my oh, sketch. Yeah. It's not my art. It's my sketch. <laughs> Anyways, anybody else want to share? Because we got to go. Thank you so much. Let me buy those gorgeous. Send me a picture of them and post it. Uh, and yours. Hi, Sarah. Thank you, thank you for, Gabby. for doing this. This is so beautiful. Yeah, it was Gabby's idea. Gabby, thank you so much for being here yes. and sharing with us. This was so relaxing. Thank you. It's so thank relaxing. You. I'm going to fall asleep soon. <laughs> I'm tired. I really should go now, but. Um, yeah, I feel grateful for everyone, and I hope we have an amazing um, transition to new month. And yeah, Amen. thank you, Amen. 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 thank yeah. you, Gabriella, and thank you all for sharing your beautiful artwork. And Bezrat uh, Hashem, we should see our potential being put into actuality. Bezrat Hashem with Simcha and Amuna as we go Amen. into this month of Adal, two months of Adal with tremendous Simcha that's going to be able to break all barriers. To bring us Yeshuot, Besorot Tovot, and Nechamon. I'm going to play a song for you guys and then we're going to end. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect life's not made for me Lonely times wishing would I be Feeling trapped in my own skin Where do I begin? I'm buried in self-doubt People around me have it all Life's too busy to hear my call Why can't I be more simple? Right down the middle of something has to change Everyone is moving on Well I'm still stuck in the past Thought I'm too brave to write myself off And I'm too strong to hold myself back This is my life to fight made for me but I create my destiny so I'll pause in this moment stand tall and own it I feel the winds of change everyone is moving on and I'm still stuck in the past but I'm too brave to write myself off and I'm too strong to hold myself back this is my life to fight for But it isn't always easy to find the hidden meaning of all times And live more You can find a million reasons to look up to the heavens and be free I can write my own story Everyone is moving on Still stuck in the past But I'm too brave to write myself off And I'm too strong to hold myself back Everyone is moving back
Wow. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. That's see you beautiful. Tomorrow. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. very special. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, Gabby. She left. I'll, I'll tell her you guys said thank you. It was really beautiful. Which song is this? You want the link? Yeah, sure. It's Deva Schwartz. And uh, the name of it was your... No, that's not it. Well done. Write my own story. Thank you. That was beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And here's the link. One second. Right. Eric, it's incredible what you do. I, I don't know how you do this every is this every day? Yeah, every day. Just not me speaking wow. every day because I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> if you ever want to speak, know me about yeah, you're invited. But but just organizing it is unbelievable. I don't organize. Wow. I don't do anything. I just ask people if they want to speak. <laughs> yeah. And uh, people here are very gracious to to heal him, like Pamela and the Reliva. If you ever want to come on to to heal him or speak, you're welcome. Thank you. I'm not. I'm not a speaker, but <laughs> yeah, you are. I see all the stuff you write around Bitton's chat. It's good stuff. <laughs> good tips. Um, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna sign off, and I'll see you again, Bezat Hashem, tomorrow. Continue painting. Enjoy. I'm still painting. Share with you. me the your sketch. Uh, Nami Bakia. It's really beautiful. Uh.